In today's video, I'm going to intentionally overpay for a scammy MacBook on eBay. It's not, it's not gonna be fun. So before we jump into the video, I'd like to thank privacy.com for sponsoring. With privacy, you can generate virtual credit cards so you don't have to actually put your credit card information on the internet. We'll actually be using it in today's video, and if you head over to privacy.com slash LukeMiani, you can get a free $5. You guys know I love to talk about scammy MacBook sellers. It's sort of a crusade of mine to call these people out and expose them for the frauds that they are. And in today's video, we're going to be taking it a step further and actually buy one of these MacBooks. So without any further ado, let's jump in to this listing that I found. This right here is a 15 inch Apple MacBook Pro Intel, eight gigabyte, one terabyte, three year warranty, Mac OS X 2015. Looks like we've got a unibody MacBook Pro as you can see very clearly in the pictures. So this is somewhere between 2008 and 2012. So what are they asking for it? $558. So if we take a look here, the first red flag that immediately catches your eye should be Intel. Now I know what you're thinking, why is that? What's wrong with that? Of course it's got Intel, it's not a power PC. Well, but here's the thing. If there is a Core i5, so like a 2010 15 inch MacBook Pro, which will have a dual Core i5, it's a garbage processor by today's standards, but it's a Core i5 nonetheless. So they would plaster that all over the listing and they would be like, turbo speeds of 500 gigahertz and stuff like that, just to try and make you think that it's really good. So the fact that they're just saying Intel that makes me think that this is older than a 2010. All right, so the next red flag that should immediately stand out to you is Mac OS X 2015. This is the oldest trick in the book. Shady eBay sellers have been doing this for ages, and basically what it does is it just makes your listing of some old crap show up when you look for like a 2015 MacBook Pro. In fact, let's put that to the test. We'll open up a new tab over here, and I'm just gonna look up MacBook Pro 2015. And there you have it, just straight away, all the way down the list, that's not a 2015, that's not a 2015, that's not either, that's not. So let's go down and read the description and see what exactly we're working with and try to figure out what the actual specs are of this machine. So let's head on down here. All right, well the first thing that stands out to me is earlier model which has been upgraded to current year. That is false advertising, just straight up. A lot of people have commented on the previous videos that I've made talking about these types of sellers and said, well, Luke, you're, you're right, they're overcharging you, but they're not technically doing anything wrong. To that I say no. Here's the definition of false advertising. False advertising is the use of false, misleading, or unproven information to advertise products to consumers. By taking a 7 to 11 year old MacBook Pro and saying, that it is an earlier model which has been upgraded to current year is false and misleading, which makes this false advertising. So at this point, it is time to purchase this MacBook Pro and that brings me to our old friend, privacy.com slash Luke Miani, which you should head over to. Privacy.com is a really cool site. It is completely free to use. You don't have to pay for this at all. They make their money through vendors, not through consumers, so it's totally free. You can go ahead and sign up at privacy.com slash Luke Miani and essentially, what this does, and I'll show you right over here, is we're going to create a new card that I can use for this purchase so I don't have to use my actual credit card information. So let's just call this scam, oh no. There we go, save that, that's great. Spend limit, uh, this thing was $500, so let's set the spend limit per, let's, actually let's set the total. So if anyone gets a hold of this card number, you can't use it because once it hits 600 bucks, which I'm about to do, that card is useless. So I just hit create card and there we go. We've got a credit card with a $600 limit and I've got a credit card number. So all I have to do is click on it and it's copied to the clipboard and now I can go ahead and purchase uh, the worst use of $558 that anyone has ever seen in their entire life. Okay, well, the order is placed. I can't believe I just spent $558.90 on 
what I assume is a 10 year old MacBook Pro with maybe $70 worth of parts added to it. This was not a good idea for a video. Anyway, okay, so I'm gonna come back once I have this MacBook in hand and we're gonna see just how bad it is. <clears throat> I've never been less excited to do an unboxing than I am now. So this is what $558.90 gets you. Let's see what it gets you. Jeez. Mmm. The old box within a box. Hello? Why did they not just ship it in this box? Come on! What? That legitimately took several minutes. Okay, so now that we're actually inside of this thing, let's see what we got. <laughs> okay, so we got an external uh, DVD drive. Which, wait, why would we have that? This computer has a DVD drive. Okay, that's a little weird. Okay, so then we have our charger, charger extension. And what's this? An external USB? Drive? Why? That sounds really cheap. I None of that was in the listing. Okay, so I will say this. The packaging is pretty decent. Um, I've had things that were packed a lot worse than this. This is one of those sort of inflatable envelope type of things. These are actually super good for packing PCs and laptops and stuff like that. So it is good to see that we at least have some amount of professionalness here, although I'm not, I'm, a, I'm so confused about this bundle stuff. I don't remember seeing anything about that in the listing, so that's interesting. All right, so on the um, packing list here, 15 inch Apple MacBook Pro, Intel, eight gigabyte, one terabyte, three year warranty, blah, 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 blah. Yep, that's what I bought. The actual MacBook Pro itself. Let's see, let's get through this bubble wrap. Wait a minute. This, this doesn't make any sense. This is a retina. What? This is a retina MacBook Pro. It's a retina MacBook Pro. The images... Looks like we've got a unibody MacBook Pro, as you can see very clearly in the pictures. And it's in really good condition, too. I mean, what? Let's find out what year this is, because all of a sudden this went from, oh man, classic scam, to potentially being actually really good, good value, weirdly enough. I don't know why they wouldn't advertise this as a retina. That seems like a weird omission to make. Okay, two gigahertz Core i7, eight gigabytes of 1600 megahertz DDR3. This, this is a late 2013 base model MacBook Pro. And it's got a one terabyte solid state drive. What? This video makes no sense. 558 is actually not bad for one of these things. Let's see if they're, are they, are they covering up any damage on this thing? I mean, it's not, it's not exceptional condition, I would say, but it's not bad. 113 battery cycles. That's not even bad. That's like really good. Okay, so let's crank this computer open and see what's going on here. Okay, so here's our one terabyte SSD. It looks like it's an Intel 660p series SSD. All right, so it looks like they're going for about $105 on Amazon, which isn't, you know, it's not like a 970 Pro or anything, but it's still a one terabyte SSD. This is still a $100 part that had to get added here. Now, as far as the rest of the internals here, I don't see anything out of the ordinary. It's sometimes you could conceivably see uh, someone selling a, a liquid damaged logic board that they have cobbled back to working order and then sold, but this looks to be perfectly fine. So that was definitely one of the most unusual unboxing experiences I've ever had. I'm completely confused. 
or at least I was at first. So as you can tell, it's a couple of days later and I've done some digging and actually I've found some pretty interesting things. So I was going on the listing trying to figure out what was going on here. Why did the computer I order look nothing like what the listing described? And I went on to the seller's other items and I found a bunch of listings very similar to this one. So you can see right here, we have a 15 inch MacBook Pro Retina, 16 gigabyte of RAM, one terabyte solid state drive, i7 turbo warranty. This actually starts to fall into line with what you would expect to see from a seller that's basically a large Apple reseller. You can see in the title, we're emphasizing Retina display, we're emphasizing that we have solid state storage, we're emphasizing a Core i7 processor, and then of course in line with that advertising, we have a rather high price of $969. Now, if we scroll on down to the description, you'll notice that we have similar verbiage down here. We have Retina, we have Retina display, i7 turbo speeds, you can even see eight virtual cores. They're basically overselling the turbo boost and hyper threading capabilities of this i7. And this appears to also have the same upgraded SSD. It's just the 750M higher tier late 2013 MacBook Pro. Now, that's great. This is a very decent machine. However, it's a little bit strange that this is almost twice as expensive as what I ordered. And the only real differences are more RAM, a little bit better processor, and the dual graphics. That definitely doesn't explain a $400 price gap. And you'll also notice in the main picture here, this is the same hard drive, external hard drive that came with my computer. And in fact, it says down here in the also include section, 500 gigabyte external backup drive, which mine included. So there's, there's definitely some funny business going on here. So here's my theory. And to back up this theory, we need to talk a little bit more about this seller and their history. So Whitman Technologies is the name of the seller that I bought this from, but in the actual box itself, I had a business card from the representative, I guess the salesperson who dealt with shipping my computer that was from Wellicky Group. Now I've actually talked about them several times in the past when I've taken a look at these shady eBay sellers and they're a very, very large group. They run a ton of eBay accounts, this one being one of them. So. It's a little bit weird that a group that large would mess up my order by including something that's way better. So what I've done is I've devised a test. There's gonna be a second part to this video because what I've done, and granted you're gonna think I'm an idiot, but I bought another one of these. It's the exact same listing, but what I did was I used a different eBay account and I'm having it mailed to a friend. So my eBay account is not gonna be on there. The address is different and the name that it's shipping to is different. So there's no way to connect these two purchases. They should be completely independent. Now, if this were actually the really good deal of a late 2013 Retina MacBook Pro for $500 with a one terabyte SSD, then that computer should be identical to the one that I bought because of course it's the same listing. And then if it isn't, so that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're as excited to find out what happens with this as I am. As usual, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Please consider following me on Twitter, at Luke Miani, and definitely consider joining my subreddit if you have any questions or comments. And with that, I'll see you all in the next video.